I'm Dr. Remolina. I practice pulmonary medicine in uh, New Jersey. My office is in Linden. And among the illnesses that we treat is uh, something called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is usually a name that is given for several diseases. One of them is chronic bronchitis. The other one is pulmonary emphysema. The other one is chronic bronchial asthma. Less used for this is um, is cystic fibrosis or in bronchiectasis. But the most common COPD uh, diseases are bronchial, uh, are um, chronic bronchitis and pulmonary emphysema. Unfortunately, these uh, diseases are associated with uh, smoking. Patients that smoke have a tendency to develop chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but there are some patients, a subsegment of patients, that have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and never smoke. Uh, in our practice, uh, we evaluate our patients not only clinically, but radiographically, and by doing pulmonary function tests. The pulmonary function tests in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease are usually diagnostic and revealing because not only do they tell you the degree of obstruction, but also at the same time we can look at the diffusion capacity, which is the hallmark of pulmonary emphysema. In patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, it's important to understand that smoking is the most common cause. Although, as I stated, there are some cases of patients with chronic obstructive lung disease that do not smoke or never smoke in their lives. Usually, when we have patients with emphysema that are very young, and that have advanced emphysema on presentations, we usually think of something called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. This is a genetic defect in which there is not significant alpha-1 antitrypsin, and therefore the patient develops pulmonary emphysema. It's, uh, typically, these patients uh, are younger and develop prog rapid progressive pulmonary emphysema. In our office, when we suspect that the patient has uh, emphysema, we, or we do on all those patients an alpha-1 antitrypsin level or alpha-1 antitrypsin genotype. That is done here free of charge as we take a drop of blood and we send it to the University of Florida where they, uh, they send me the, um, the results in the mail. This alpha-1 antitrypsin is extremely important because if you do have alpha-1 antitrypsin, by replacing the alpha-1 antitrypsin, you can uh, improve or correct the illness. N perhaps never curing, but make the patient less symptomatic. Patients that come to our office that have chronic obstructive lung disease, we try to determine the cause of the obstruction. As stated, uh, pulmonary uh, emphysema, the number one cause has to be considered uh, smoking. Uh, there is other causes of pulmonary emphysema like patients with occupational disease and patients that uh, lack alpha-1 antitrypsin. Uh, when we see our patients here, we do complete pulmonary function studies. Pulmonary function studies are revealing because they develop the, the amount of obstruction and at the same time by looking at the diffusion capacity, you can determine the degree of pulmonary emphysema. Pulmonary emphysema and chronic bronchitis are basically classified according to the goal criteria, which <clears throat> determines the amount of airflow obstruction. And there's four levels of goal criteria, from mild, when you have minimal obstruction, to moderate, to more severe obstruction, and finally, very severe obstruction. These patients are treated here with uh, bronchodilators, and some patients because they have obstruction, we may use um, medications like corticosteroids for a short period of time. They may require doing acute exacerbations um, antibiotics. Uh, the patients uh, with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, those patients are, re are treated with replacement of alpha-1 antitrypsin. I think it's extremely important to understand that chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, whether it's chronic bronchitis, pulmonary emphysema, or the others that I mentioned have to be identified so they can be treated. If you're interested in learning more about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, please check our links so that you can go to more specific areas so you can learn more about uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease.